If you're just tuning in, we're playing Satisfactory version 1 and we're starting in arguably the hardest location ever, the Dune Desert. We've played already one episode where I showed you really the basic basics. We only got to up upgrade 4. Now for that one, we're going to need some limestone. So after the iron just behind a hub and the copper over here, we're moving on this side there to find some limestone. We're also seeing some other things. For example, over there, you can see this blue slug is going to be interesting. But first, let's get this limestone. As always, there's going to be one enemy. So let's get as quickly as possible on it and attack him before he can do too much damage to us. Here it is. Done. So we have, as always, you know, the limestone sort of node, right? We want to destroy the middle part of it with E. Press E just one time is enough. You don't have to press it many times. And then as soon as that's done, come on, taking a while, <laughs> it is, we can start placing our portable miner. So I made three again at the end of the last episode. So it is the portable miner is going to start working, right? And they're going to start mining this limestone automatically. I could walk back all the way to my hub or, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to pick up those leaves. Anytime you see leaves, uh, especially in the dune desert, because there's not a lot, do take them. We're going to need them pretty soon. <laughs> so here it is. I'm taking them all. Up. Uh, oops. But yes, we don't have to walk all the way back. We can put a crafting bench over here. It's going to be very flat. <laughs> and this way we can start transforming this limestone into concrete. We're talking about three to one. So you definitely are going to need a lot of limestone um, in the future of the game. But for now, let's just build a couple. I mean, we actually only need 10 for this upgrade um, to, to four. So it's not too bad. Before we leave, you know, we can also delete this one. And we can take a couple of these. Right, all of these resources so that we have a few more and then let's go back to the base quickly there's some other resources there that seems like limestone but this one it may be sulfur so let's check it out because sulfur is definitely quite important uh, in the game let's take all of this here by the way you don't need to press E multiple times you can press one and yes this is sulfur so let's gather it Ada is happy. Chemical element collected. This non-metallic and multivalent element seems to be present only in a solid state and exhibits a most pungent smell. <laughs> it is fortunate fixed helmets are of such high quality. True. So potential resource for later use. So let's do exactly that. Let's store it for now. We don't really need it. So store that. Okay. But let's do Okay, we don't actually have all of the resources. So I'm now going to make a couple of cables. So the cables are made out of wires, right? And then I will make a couple more iron plates so that we can do this up upgrade for. See you in a minute. Here it is just a few minutes later and we have definitely enough of all three to finish this upgrade for. And by the way, I know some of you are gonna say I should have already started to automate. I just want to get to the end of this and then I'll automate everything in one go. Hub upgrade four, landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection to conveyor belts. Oh, that's so fun. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be... If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fix-It has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective... <laughs> Coffee stain is so funny. So, yes, with update grade 4, we got the conveyor belt. But now, upgrade 5 is when it gets really interesting because we get the miner. And this is what I mean by we can automate the whole thing, right? Because I can now put a miner. Then I can put a conveyor belt to the miner, from the miner, you know, to the smelter. And then another from the smelter to the constructor. And, et voila, we're doing from start to finish full automation. 
So let's definitely get that one done. And as you saw, we are basically almost there, right? We just need a bit more cables, a bit more iron rods, and a bit more concrete. But we have all of the resources needed in, so we can do it in the crafting bench. Let's go. And this is really why you want to get it, you know, on this top corner so you can quickly see, do you have enough or not? Here it is. We're going to have enough right now. Then do the same for the cables. Well, actually, it's going to be just for the cables, but okay, that's fine. And then similarly for the concrete, we definitely have enough. I can even stop now. Okay, so we put all of this in, pressing control and done. Hub 5. Hub upgrade 5, power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven workdays. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. <laughs> Look at this, a hub inside is also getting a lot prettier, slowly but surely, right? Um, and we have also an expansion on this side. Instead of having one of these, we have two. So what are these? These are biomass burner. I can put, you know, some leaves, some wood, and in the future also some more advanced fuel types uh, here. And that will create electricity. Because if you were paying attention, they did say that the miners and of course everything else like constructors, etc. They're going to require electricity versus these guys, the portable miners, they don't. Don't ask me how they're working. I mean, I guess they have maybe it's uh, solar. <laughs> no, I don't see any <laughs> solar panels, but yeah, I don't know how they work. You can tell me in the comments if you know. Anyway, we can now start basically doing real automation. And... I guess let's start with this one. That's the closest. Uh, that's the closest. I will need probably a bit more of leaves soon, but that's okay. We can still get started. So we're going to want, you know, to actually take those miners out because here they don't really help us. So that is giving us some miners and giving us, you know, some reserves. We can store the miners for now over here. We don't need them, right? And we're gonna start building. So we're gonna start building. What I'm gonna do right now is also put these into my hot bar. You can see my hot bar has four things already. We can add more. How do you add them? You just over with your mouse over whatever you want to add. Let's say the constructor, and then you press the number. So let's say this one is six, for example. And the smelter is gonna be seven. The miner is gonna be eight. Right? You can put all of these no problem. Power, we already have them over here, one and two. Logistic, similarly, we already have them, three and four. Organization, so storage container, that's going to be useful, of course. Let's put that number zero. Right? So this way now, I don't have to go back into queue and find whatever I want to build. I can just, from here, press the number, let's say, in this case, basically eight, right? And build this minor mark one. Pretty big building already, right? Um, it is requiring quite a few resources. We don't have all of them. So as always, what we're going to do is um, we're going to go over here can do this. And now we know exactly what we need. We need one portable miner. We need 10 concrete and 10 iron plates. So let's take back this actually. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Construct a bit more of concrete, right? And et voila, we're going to be able to build a miner now on this magnificent uh, place so thinking you know we're gonna want to expand so maybe here it's not exactly flat we will be able by the way if you've never played the game yes we will be able in the future to put foundations and things like this to make actual bases right but let, let's start like this right i'm gonna put it over here and it is beautiful building by the way there's also some stairs here if you want to try to get up and see what's happening right and you have this red pole here. This is not working. Red means not good. Red means no energy, no power. It takes five megawatts, by the way, to produce 30 per minute. So what we're going to want to do is now connect this energy production here to this energy eater there. To do that, we're going to press two. 
and we're gonna connect this one here we're gonna want to make a pop up line or pole to be precise and then connect that one here but as you see it requires a couple of wires and a couple of concrete so let me build this i'll build a couple of reserves of those things so that we're ready actually to do it even more precise let's do this you know i know i want a smelter i know i want one constructor i know i want one power line oh, i want actually more let's say 10 power lines and i want let's say couple of power poles too right and actually i probably want also a storage container at the end right so here it is i've put all of those things here you can see them and now i can see also all of the resources needed to actually make that happen the tough one is going to be the reinforced iron plate that's something new everything else i can do it all right it's going to take me a minute in the crafting bench for the reinforced iron plate we have unlocked that recipe too, but this is the first production or first recipe that requires two things. Instead of requiring only one, in this case, let's say iron plate, it's requiring two now, iron plate and screws. The easy thing is screws we can make thanks to some iron oil. So again, as I just said, let me, you know, make a few of these manually so that we can get you know, enough to build all of it. And I'll see you in a minute. Here we are, ladies and gents, all of it is in the green or to be more precise in the orange we have enough of all of the resources so let's start building right we're gonna want after the miner we're gonna want a smelter so seven we can press control to try to align them of course again this is pretty temporary so it doesn't matter that much but still let's do it and then after the smelter we're gonna want at least one controller uh, at least and then after the smelter, we're going to want at least one control structure. We're going to put it a bit further, uh, like over here. Okay. So it is. Now, if I go here, it should be pretty well aligned. You, know? you can see it. Then we need to press 3 to put some conveyors in between. Right? right now, nothing is happening. Okay, not great. Why? For two reasons. First one is there's no electricity. Can see the red 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 second we haven't chosen what to do right we're gonna want here to do some iron ingots and then we're gonna want to transform those iron ingots let's start with iron plates right we can see by the way the recipes right three iron ingots makes two iron plates so 30 per minute makes 20. this one we can check again 30 30 right and this one is gonna make 30 because it is an impure mark one not overclocked so this is actually a pretty efficient one because we're making 30, transforming exactly into 30 and using this 30 and transforming exactly this 30 into 20. Huh? So can't complain. We do need more electricity, right? So let's go. We want, as we said, to connect this one. I put it here. And then we're going to put another one closer like here. And then we can connect, you know, this power line here directly to the miners this is done here and also directly to this one now three out of four what does that mean that means for those mark one power pole you can only connect four things to it so right now it's connected one here two three so there's only one left we could connect it here or what you can do is also create another pole so that then you can use this pole to connect here but also to connect to other things in the future right so it is everything is connected it's still red why well because this is not working yet right we need to give it some fuel so let's get started with our leaves this is it now this is burning right as you can see it is creating 20 megawatts um so this is actually you can see it over here our capacity is 20 right now we're only consuming um 5.2 right so that's not too bad um and this is only 5.2 because I think only this one has started and this one is now starting. You can see green. This one is not starting yet. When all of these will be working, then this will jump to 13. Basically, you can see my consumption has already jumped now to 9. And then soon it's going to get to 13. Starting to make some of those ingots. That's great. What we can do also is to deliver, uh, you know, what we have over here into our... Uh, inventory to make sure this is working well but that shouldn't be a problem like similarly over here too you know, i can start so it is we are starting to make now some ingots 
there is six already here i can click on them you know press control now i have them in my inventory at some point it's gonna stop though when it gets this one i don't remember if it's 100 or 200 but at some point it's gonna stop when it's full you know when it's internal storage is full so what you want to do is to put a storage container now i'm starting to see that we are actually towards the end Oof, that was gonna be tough because of this uh, dune desert there what we can do is put it next to it it's not gonna be pretty but okay let's you know put it somewhere over here just next and then we're gonna turn around okay so this is very you know crude but yeah now our hand plates are going into this storage and in this storage we can have a lot so now i can leave that going forever almost right not forever forever but almost and oh we have a problem what is it our power grid has shut down no there's two reasons for it it can be that there's no more fuel which is the case now <laughs> or it can be that we're using too much right my maximum is 20 soon you know we were at 13 so obviously at some point i can get above 13. so now what do i need to do well i need to get a lot of wood or a lot of leaves to get that back on and then what we'll do also right what we'll continue after this is we're gonna want to do the same so one miner one smelter one constructor for the copper over here then we're gonna want to do the same also for the limestone over there right and then frankly we're gonna want to do it also on another iron because this iron here is making you know the iron plates but we also want to make iron odd right so we're going to want to make a couple of these. Good thing is, you may remember there was, you know, another copper that was not far. I think we're well, over here. Yeah, over there. Right. There was also, I think, another iron that wasn't too far. So this one is the one we have. But yeah, there is one Well, on that side. Is that the only one? Oh, there's one also this side. We haven't looked the map yet. It's kind of being sued, but not yet. So yeah, we're going to want to do this. It's going to be doing the same. So I'm not going to show it on camera. I'm going to do it, you know, on my own. And I'll see you in a minute. Wow, this is a bit too high. I need some stairs, which, by the way, there is new stairs in the game in uh, version 1. And why do we want to, by the way, to automate all of this is so we can get to the next stage, right? Because the next stage, we're already talking about 100 of each. So more and more, you know, it's going to require obviously a lot more and therefore you can't now just do manual mining or manual crafting that is not sustainable anymore and we have all of the tools to actually automate it so we need to automate but let's select this milestone here so we know about it right and let me do this i'll see you in a minute so it is listen a couple of minutes later and i have built over here a new line for copper and behind it there's a new line also for limestone now it's not working because we need to put more leaves into these guys right and we actually need both of them now because we're going to be higher than the 20 megawatts you can see this one is already at 26 and that was even before doing the last uh, line if i'm not mistaken so i went and got you know quite a few leaves and just a bit of wood basically near the sea over there on the river um, you may be wondering, you know, over here I have 500, how do I get less to put there? You can do a right click, that's going to half it. Now I have one of 250, one of 250, so I can put uh, one in each, right? Same here, let's put 250 also. Uh, and now we can, you know, put the fuse on and the electricity is turning back on, right? So we're increasing now to 35. So we're already almost at the maximum because it's 20 times two, it's 40, right? So we're gonna need to build also some new biomass burner in a second. But yeah, we have our production and you can see actually our production seems pretty uh, flat right now because we have pretty simple but uh, efficient production chains. So the first one over here, you remember that was our iron, right? Iron ingots transforming then into iron plates and it probably didn't make oh, 70, that's better than nothing. I was going to say it didn't make that much because you know this was off, but still made a few. And then over here, we're starting, as you can see over there, uh, the wires, right? We have our copper. So again, we're getting 30 per minute. This is an impure node. We can deliver some. 
we're transforming this into the smelter 30 to 30 that's an easy one and then we're transforming these into wires now this is 15 to 30 so basically this one is gonna start getting full pretty quickly because we're producing 30 and only using 15 at this point of course very soon we're gonna do things like a splitter over here to split you know the 30 into 15 and another 15 but for now we don't really have a choice we can't do that and we're starting to make already quite a lot of wire great and last but not least if we follow again over here our power poles we're getting to the last line where we have another miner this time on limestone that goes directly into the constructor we don't need a smelter in this case so we have air right making 30 and then this goes into this constructor that is actually using 45 so this one is actually using more than 30 so at some point this will get empty it's a good thing i delivered you know manually but anyway that's okay uh, even the belt by the way we can look at the belt over here in logistic this belt is limited to 60 so that is fine for the 45 but when we have bigger production in the future that won't be fine so with this then we're making the concrete and the concrete is delivered there so yeah with this we have definitely started to automate the basics right we have probably no we don't have enough yet for a, a grade six but we're not that far do i have enough also to make sorry a new line of these guys yeah we're not that far we just need a few more cables so i can do that like craft that manually and we're gonna want to make a new line for the these guys the iron rods right so if we look at our iron ore i think there was one just over there 200 and this one uh, this one is closer actually so maybe let's go on this side what you may want to do when you do something like this is bring with you directly you know the power we don't have a lot of resources i don't know if we're gonna have enough those power poles can be pretty long or power line but at some point it gets too long right wire is too long so you have to stop just before and yeah the next one is over here so that's fine okay we're missing some oh the fuse has blown so we're probably out of uh whoops wow that hurts that hurts uh, good by the way my energy is over here you can see didn't hurt that much but do keep um, an eye on your energy so we're gonna need to give some more leaves very soon um this is why the dune desert is actually quite hard because if you start you know and the uh, many of the other locations you're gonna have tons of uh, leaves but also of wood and wood definitely burns you know takes a long lot longer than leaves to burn so that will be a lot better i can soon i'll be able to cut some of these trees to get some wood but i'm not there yet so for now i have to rely on what i can find on the ground like this right so let me do this build also the second one ah, some wood that's great over here actually there are quite a lot of leaves there so i'm gonna press e and then i just need oh there's an enemy where is he i didn't see him and there is also oh that is iron ore i thought this was sam ore or sam oh it oh two of them okay so actually these guys don't go into the water so i can hide in the water to have my health come back up if i want but i don't think it's needed oh this guy actually was able to come depends how deep the water is basically uh that's fine i can also jump to avoid oops i that was a failure sorry but yeah you can jump usually to avoid the attack okay so yeah let's get that out of the way nothing else yet but yeah you can press e once and keep you know keep your finger on the button and then just move around and your guy is going to gather all the leaves around so we already have more than 300 that's great 
but I'm guessing we're gonna want to get to coal power as quickly as possible with this amount of biomass here. So let me build that, you know, I'm gonna bring all of those leaves back to my electricity, to my uh, burners, right? I'm going to build a new line on these guys, this guy here. And I'll see you in a minute, but first, actually, sorry, I know I keep saying I'm going to do it, but there is one of those slugs just there. And this is, by the way, why there was a few enemies, because they protect these. It's a blue power slug. We cannot really do anything with it yet, but like with everything else, let's definitely get it. <laughs> this semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fixit production line efficiency. Store this potential resource for later use. Yeah, so she's basically telling us the secret is going to help us in the future for better productions. Okay, I've built this new line so that we can automate the iron rod production. But spoiler alert, there was a problem. The fuse again, you know, blue, the fuse broke blue. Why? Because we got to 48 of my cost consumption. And we are uh, right now at 40, right? 20 plus 20, that's 40. So we're going to need to build our first uh, burner, but we cannot. We cannot because we haven't unlocked it. <laughs> that's a shame. That comes with this new milestone over here, right? Biomass burner. So we're not stuck, right? This is a pretty easy fix. The only thing to do is to basically take out this power line here. All right, so now we're gonna go back down to what was it, uh, 35, right? And it should restart, no problem. Here it is, it is restarting, but again, it is restarting at 35. So that one over there in the back is not working. So we really need to do this level six. The good thing is because all the other lines are working, we do have quite a bit of resources now. Look at this, iron plates, I had quite a lot. And by the way, now what I can do is now that I know I have enough iron plates, I can switch this recipe, right? I can switch it to iron rod. And now it's gonna start remaking iron rod. And instead of having only iron plates here, we're gonna have iron plates and iron rod. Similarly here, we have, you know, quite a lot of wires, hopefully can check that in a second and pretty sure we'll have enough also of the uh, limestone in the back there so we can do the upgrade in a second don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have any questions thoughts or requests by the way you can see here there's a lot less <laughs> leaves than before <laughs> so we're gonna need to cut those leaves pretty quickly uh, cut those trees sorry pretty quickly so yeah, we are good on plates on wires on concrete the problem is probably just yeah the roads we just restarted that i can do a couple you know manually of course right we still have a lot of iron that we can transport transform right let's check quickly how we're doing over here we are, have made 13 while we were speaking so it's not a lot but we're definitely getting there let's do this check it up 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 so we have all of the resources except the iron rod so let me just you know make some iron ingots make some rod and i'll see you in a minute for upgrade six and done let's deliver it and upgrade six finished we are done with tier zero landing platform hydraulics completed freighter landing initialized congratulations you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a fixit pioneer fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with fixit is a future with you tier one and two milestones are now available in the hub and biomass burners can now be built individually your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator this objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. <laughs> Fixit recommends getting to work. Oh, this is... I love it. So yeah, we have now over here something so that we're able to send the resources up. 
and we have unlocked tier one and tier two so a lot of different resources a lot of different research we have obstacle clearing over here for example that will unlock the chainsaw and solid biofuel we have already unlocked a new type of fuel by the way the biomass so we can transform our leaves on our wood into this biomass why would we do that well because this will be a lot more efficient meaning it's going to take a lot uh, more time to burn right while we're producing electricity so it can last longer if you wish right we can also now start making our biomass burner so what we can do is over here right we already had two i can start adding more and the cool thing with update or version one is now you can actually feed these ones there's a you know there's an input over here right? i can put a belt i can put a belt so i can what you can do basically now is have a storage container right like this that's going to feed into them so that is really good and these ones by the way they also produce 30 instead of only producing um 25 we can also i can also show you you know a bit some of these efficiency the wood is 18 per minute I look at the leaves there right it's 80 per minute and that one seems to be empty that's bad that's why the electricity has stopped once more so i need to get a few more leaves a few more wood but with this we're really getting you know to the actual game we finish the tutorial we have also access to the space elevator but look at this uh, you know resource we're talking about 1500 of wire and a lot of the other resources we're not going to be ready for this right away right we're going to need to automate quite a few things first and we can we don't have to do it right away right this will like building the space elevator will give us access later to other tiers but first we can do all of these so we have the base building to get some foundations and the look la, look out tower we have logistics with the split on merger that i mentioned before we have the field research that's going to get access to the map, the map also, and a few other things. And in tier two, right, we have a lot here. We have the assembler, which is the first building where it's like a constructor, but you can uh, feed two things into it. So this is how you can start making, for example, the reinforced concrete. And we have quite a few advanced materials over here, including our first elevator path, the smart plating. And this one I mentioned already, jump pads. We have the awesome sink to start unlocking some customization aspects. And we have logistic Mark II already, which is upgrading you know, both our belt and our conveyors to Mark II. So moving from, one and, from 60 to 120 per minute. So with that, you can produce, you can you know, transport a lot more. But yeah, first, we're going to want to get a lot of leaves. So for me, it's going to take a bit of time, but for you, it's easy. Just click on this video appearing on the screen. Thank you for watching.